Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on expanding binomial products. A binomial consists of two terms. Here we expand two binomials that are multiplied together. Let's have a look at four examples to see how this works. For example one we have m plus 2 multiplied by m plus 3. This is a binomial because it has two terms and that is a binomial because it has two terms and those binomials are multiplied together. So what we need to do is to expand them, that is to remove those grouping symbols or those brackets. And the way we do it is this. We multiply m by m plus 3 and that's what I've done here. Then we multiply 2 by m plus 3 and that's what I've done here. So all we do now is expand each of these as we did in the previous video. m times m is m squared, m times 3 is 3m, 2 times m is 2m and 2 threes are 6. And in some cases you can simplify by adding like terms. It doesn't always happen, but it does in some cases. So here we have m squared. 3m plus 2m is 5m, and there's our 6. So this binomial product has been expanded to give us that answer. Number 2. 3k plus 7 multiplied by 2k minus 4. So we have 3k multiplied by 2k minus 4, which is here. We have plus 7 multiplied by 2k minus 4, which is here. Now if we expand that, if we multiply the 3k by those two terms, and the 7 by those two terms, we get 6k squared minus 12k plus 14k minus 28. Now we look at these two terms here which are like terms. 14k minus 12k is 2k, so that's the answer. Number 3. That, those two terms here multiplied by those two terms. This is how we expand them. The same way we did for those first two. The 7y is multiplied by the 3y minus 7. And then we have minus 8 outside of 3y minus 7. When we expand that, and then we expand that, we get 21y squared minus 49y minus 24y plus 56. Remember, minus times minus gives you plus. These are the like terms here. So we get 21y squared minus 73y plus 56. And the last example, we're multiplying this binomial by that one. There's our expansion based on what we've seen in the first three examples. Okay, so that's quite straightforward. When we expand that second line here, we end up with this line there. And if you notice, after we do the expansion from here to here, we do not have any like terms. We've got four separate terms here, but none of them are like terms, so they just stay as they are. So this video has shown us how to expand two binomial products. It's a very systematic way and if you take your time and just follow the examples that I've shown, you shouldn't have any trouble whatsoever.